So here are some of the other ones. Working alone with a woman in a private office. 20% of men surveyed said they were uncomfortable with that. Or traveling alone with a woman for work, 26% of men were uncomfortable with that. So if you add all of those together, now men could, in this survey, they could answer that they were uncomfortable to more than one question. It wasn't just pick the one you were most uncomfortable with. But adding it all together, it was only, I believe, 40% of men who were totally comfortable with all of them. 60% uh, of men answered at least to one of the questions that they were uncomfortable. That is so, it's so ridiculous to me that, we, that we're at the point where the media is trying to paint this narrative where the United States is such a toxic patriarchy, that the environment is so horrible for women in the workplace that we need government uh, to step in and fix this for us. When truthfully, Kelsey, and you can speak to this. I mean, you and I perhaps are particularly uniquely qualified to speak to this as young professional women in a very competitive cutthroat industry. There has never been a better time in the United States to be a woman or a woman in the workplace because we enjoy equal protection under the law. Absolutely. And that's why the repercussions of the Me Too movement um, are important to talk about. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of women are happy about um, the fact that it has empowered them uh, to hold powerful men accountable in the workplace. But guess what? Powerful women in the workplace also abuse their power. It's not just a men versus women's issue. And the problem with the Me Too movement is that it's become so much about political vengeance rather than actual justice. And there are cases where women need justice and they do need better HR systems in the workplace. It's important to talk about that. It's not good that we have 20 percent of men who feel uncomfortable mentoring women one-on-one, -on -one. but there are simple solutions to that. Have more offices with glass buildings. And also we need to ask, why do men feel uncomfortable in those situations? Well, look what we just went through with the Brett Kavanaugh trials. Men are scared to be accused, to be falsely accused of any type of misbehavior for women. And, and this is what happens. This is the fallout of pitting men and women against each other. Right. Well, I, I think you bring up a good point here. So for the men who do hesitate uh, to mentor a woman or they're uncomfortable with any of these different things, it could be un it could be related to their personal lives. It could be related to their religious views, uh, not just Christianity, but other Orthodox religious views as well. But I also think we do need to entertain the idea that the hesitation some men might feel is justified because of the left. The left has actually encouraged a culture where we quote unquote believe all women if they so much as make an allegation and assume that men are guilty until proven innocent, which is many times very difficult to prove and not how our justice system works. And so I don't blame them for feeling hesitation because their lives, their marriage, their reputation, their careers could be ruined by a frivolous allegation that our society has decided we are going to believe. So if there is some hesitation on the part of some men, let's examine whether it's because they're sexist pigs or whether the left has made them fear for their reputations because of this culture that the left has created.